Good afternoon, guys. So, I'm Mario, I'm not Nikolai, sorry for that. Uh, he's at the investors meeting, so he's Danish, I'm German, he's a founder, and I'm uh, taking care of marketing and sales. And I would like to take the opportunity today to show you a very stylish product which allowed to do crazy things in the future. So maybe we could start with a short video to show you the origin of the dash. Faster, go, go, go! Woo! Heart rate 170, speed 64 kilometers per hour, drop rate 367 meters. Pulse about 92, pace 4 minutes 26 seconds per kilometer. So, what is an hearable? Um, a hearable is a smart hef headphone, uh, offers movement, totally wireless functionalities, and is able to track your biometrics. So, trusting all these guys uh, you can see here on the screen, it's a special category for variables. So, it's a subcategory of variables. Um, which entertains you, which talks to you, and which helps you to do things better. Um, as Ola just said, we are just back from the, um, from the CES, from the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas, and it was quite interesting to see how Americans see European countries, so I don't want to uh, use this opportunity for some uh, political talks, but uh, everybody was asking, oh, you are from Europe or you are from Germany? So more happy than this, we won two of the main important best of products awards at the CS show for both variables, but also for biometrics. So just to show you two, three articles about that. So we gained a lot of uh, media coverage uh, to show our concept uh, to people. So finally, our vision is a bit different than maybe our friends from Cupertino or Soul are doing. We really would like to create an engine for a deep human-machine interaction, which allows you to control your biometrics, skipping other devices. So I'm not sure if they are so lucky, but you can use the Dash even without a smartphone, right? And finally, it's a discrete assistant, which is not really obviously seen on your face, like maybe other things from the valley, right? Uh, yes, as I said, the Dash entertains you, listens to you, takes care of you, and helps you to do things better. And finally, just to show you a short wrap-up, these are not only headphones. These are real microcomputers, which are small, which perfectly fit to your ear and helps you to control your body, to control your biometrics. 
Just uh, to give you a short overview about the functionalities, it's totally wireless. So you will not see the dash with any cables, not here or at the back. It's having Bluetooth 4.0, which allows you to stream your music from your smartphone or other devices. It has an own dedicated 4 gig internal storage. So if you are doing sports like I'm doing, so I'm, I hate it to be a kind of cyborg when I'm running, having something here or here or here. So just having this kind of very smart device allows you even to hear music without any smartphone and to get your real-time feedback on the biometrics. I will show you in the next slide, right? So we are also offering balanced armature speakers. Maybe some of you who is maybe interested in audio systems knows that this is a very advanced technology, offers you a great quality of audio speakers. So the dash is also waterproof, which is quite fun when you're swimming, right? So you're swimming, you can hear music, and you can hear your biometrics at the feedback, if you're doing well or not. And finally, again, and which is very important, and therefore I'm always mentioning it. Uh, it works without a smartphone. What can you track with a dash? You can track with a dash a lot of measurements, and everything is done in real time, because this is a microcomputer. You don't need a smartphone to send the measurements back to the smartphone and in the other way around, right? So you can measure, of course, your heart rate, your respiration, oxygen saturation, accelerations, rotations, absolute direction, temperature, speed, distance, time, as you could see in the short video, and maybe some additional features more, which we will announce close to the market launch. And regarding the communication possibilities, it's an ear canal mic. So we are using, a, we think it's a quite better technology, so uh, the dash is in your ear, and you can speak and talk and hear everything in real time. So uh, you have a real in-mic microphone here, which is not working with the, uh, with the airbone, but with the in-canal, which allows uh, to, uh, to have more and better quality through talking. Uh, you have audio transparency, so imagine you are in the plane, then you can just swip, or you can do any kind of macro, so you can control the dash even with your movements, and then you will not hear anything, right? It's totally passive noise cancellation. But if you are maybe a biker, and you are in the traffic, and from security reasons, just do this, or move your head to left or right, so it's in your hands, then you have the ambient sound, so it's totally audio transparent for a security reasons. So even for, yeah, for guys uh, which are working at the street, it's very important, right? So this is a short overview about the dash. Normally I can talk for two hours because um, I would like to hear your questions maybe. So Oli, maybe we can start with a question and answer session. Thank you very much.
Any questions? So I'm, okay, that's the size, because I was wondering about the size, because my ears are quite big, and I tried a lot of different um, earphones, uh, ear, how do you call it again? Earplugs, yep. earbuds, and they always fell, fell out, like also sure. in the gym, even the ones around the ear, I like, I was so happy I had that once, and I went to the gym, after two, three times, they like, came out again. So I was wondering if you have like different sizes, or if it like, even the size is adaptable to your ear. Because yes. I know this, um, uh, one of the expensive versions is you can have them done exactly to your ear, right? So I see the size is quite good, but I don't know if my ears are still too big. Thank you for the question. Yeah, good point. So we have um, analyzed more than 5,000 3D ear prints of all human ears. So we started to plan the dash from design thinking, Prosperity Slide. So sometimes it's, it's better, right? So finally, uh, you have a perfect design product. But in some cases, as in our case, the challenge was to put all this technology then in this nice design, right? So we have more than 160 different components in the dash. So having all this information ready after one year, uh, we have created one final design with three different sleeves, which we will also deliver to you. So it means that you will get a package in two months with three different sleeves in S, M, and L size. These are silicon <laughs> sleeves. And our promise is that the dash will fit to 96% of all ears. I know it's sometimes a bit crazy to see it's the first in-ear plug which will fit. But um, it will. And of course, uh, we plan to have some cooperations with guys for even customized solutions. So if you are, unfortunately, within the 4%, which will not fit, so we will have some possibilities with 3D prints from, from your smartphone to uh, create your customized dash. But this will not be ready just from the beginning. So we will start sales in April. But now you can pre-order it, of course, directly on our website. And what is the price? And the price is currently 299 US on our pre-order store. So we have a lot of pre-orders. We have 16,000 backers from Kickstarter. Of course, we will deliver it to them. Firstly, we have the developer's kit, which we will deliver in four weeks. Hopefully, and afterwards, we will start the real a commercial start. The final price I didn't decide yet, but um, will be around this, yeah, two, 2.99. How long is the battery life? Um, three to five hours, three to five hours. What I didn't mention to you guys is that you will get it, so this is not the final design, so my head of design would kill me to show you this one as a final. So we will have an intelligent smart case for the dash where you can plug in and use it as a power charger. So in less than one hour, I think 45 minutes, you can recharge at the dash 100%, up to five times, and then you have to recharge with your laptop again, right? Oh, there's another question. Um, coming from a background of kind of digital and user interaction design, I thought it was interesting what you were saying about making control gestures and using that in some way to either control the function of your product or maybe other ones. Are you exploring that with, with designers? Maybe an open API that people can use those functionalities for control? Sure. So uh, you will have, as a normal consumer, you will have a lot of um, own possibilities to program the dash and the kind of movement, uh, movements that you, you want to control. But uh, what we will do now with the developer's kit, similar maybe to Pebble a couple of years ago, we will provide a non-final product to the developers with a totally open SDK. So we are very, very excited to see which kind of input will come back from these, I think, 5,000 people, which will get the dash or a first prototype firstly, right? Uh, for this year, we will, of course, have some possibilities because we are interested that other or third device companies will do their own applications or interfaces like Runtastic or MI Fitness Pearl. But for the successor, 
um, we plan a totally embedded design um, product. Is there still a way to join the program? Sure. Just send me an email. Can you repeat the question? The question was uh, whether it's still uh, possible to join the program. Yeah, sure. Any more questions? Yeah. Yes, great. I just realized that I'm really into this kind of stuff. <laughs> um, no, I do have Bose, um, the ones because I'm flying frequently and it's really annoying and you're tired if you don't have the noise cancellation. I'm really happy about the noise cancellation. So I saw in the video that you also have the noise cancellation. Correct. How good is it? How good? How good is it? Yeah, because uh, the Bose ones, they're like around your ear like this and they're really good. But also, it's always a pain in the ass. Like you cannot wear a hat. You have this here and there. So I would be happy if that had the same quality of the noise cancellation, like the Bose well, one. Because I paid 250 for that one too. So I'd sure. rather have the small ones. Just to hear music, right? No, fine. I, I love Bose. So uh, I trust my developers because two guys are from Bose and one from AKG, right? And for these guys, audio quality, yeah, it's the most important thing. So and we did some tests with a prototype, with Engadget uh, two weeks ago on the CS, and it's great. So it worked perfectly, but you have to uh, discover it by yourself, right? Just have to trust my promise. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions regarding the product? Okay, I have one more question for you regarding the Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. Maybe there are some people in the room who have not uh, chosen this kind of channel to um, get in touch with their uh, future users or consumers. Uh, what yeah. were the experiences you made and what were the top three lessons you learned that you could share today? Yeah, so firstly, I have to say we, we didn't do Kickstarter because of the funding, right? So luckily, the project, Bragi and the Dash, was totally funded by our founder and CEO Nikolai. So uh, we talked about this in December 2013 and they said, Nikolai, let's do Kickstarter because from marketing perspective, it's very important to see uh, if the world is ready for your product, right? So we had a bit different intention. So uh, we started in February 2013 with a lot of preparations. We did everything by our own. We didn't use a press agency or so. This amazing movie is still from, from Kickstarter, but we did everything by our own. The learnings from Kickstarter, so people are all, yeah, often ask me, hey, Maria, what is the secret? So you are still the most funded European project ever, and now we are on number 11 and 12, something like that. So. Of course, you, you cannot push the button to say, okay, we would like to realize about 3 million US. Um, from my perspective, so I'm a hardware guy, right? The product is still the hero. If you have a great product and you trust your product and your concept and your vision, do Kickstarter. Because Kickstarter is the biggest community in the world. And, um, and it's not only US, so this is one of the misunderstandings, especially in Europe or, or even in Germany, right? That people are saying, oh, Kickstarter may be just for the US. No, it's not. So we just received 50% of our backers are from US. 50% are from Europe and Asia as well. So this helps you to be interactive with your community. So we are still bringing the most important information, the updates to the Kickstarter platform because this is our main community. I'm not investing so much in Facebook and, our, and, and other social media things because we still have two months to go. But Kickstarter is key for us to talk with our ambassadors. And did it hurt sometime? Uh, and what do you mean? Did it hurt? <laughs> the feedback you received, like was there one no, feature that you really uh, fell in love with and then... Look, it's, it's interesting. So the Kickstarter time was totally, yeah, it was totally crazy. We just were four people in the company. Now we are 30, but most of them are developers. And when you are even receiving calls from A.B. Burns and Ashton Kutcher asking you, Mario, do you need help? And you can say after one week when you realize one million, no, maybe later. So the same answer he received on the CS, um, it's cool. It's cool. You're such a show off. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Great product. Thank you, guys. Great to have it here. Um, if you want to have a look at it, a sneak peek, um, Mario will be around.